be reading the regulations. They change every single day. I think the bear is coming. Is it? The bear is coming, but unfortunately, yeah. so for him to put his robes on, it needs people to dress him. <laughs> But now I just don't wear my face. I don't know. I 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 Back in May this year, the nation celebrated VE Day on the 75th anniversary of the end of the war in Europe. However, contrary to public belief, as we know, this was not the end of the war. In the Far East, the war against Imperial Japan would continue for another six months. During that time, many bitter and bloody battles were fought by the 14th Army. Soldiers from Tibet fought in these battles, many with the Demshire Regiment. It was not until the 15th of August 1945, 75 years ago today, that Japan finally surrendered, but only after the dropping of two atomic bombs thus ushering in the nuclear age in which we live with today. The 14th Army was a multinational force comprised of units from Commonwealth countries such as Australia and New Zealand. As well as units of the British Army, many, in fact the vast majority, were from the British Indian Army. There were also significant contributions from the 81st and 82nd West African Division and also the 11th East African Division. So you can see it was a truly multinational force. The 14th Army was often referred to as the Forgotten Army because its operations in Burma were often overlooked by the press of the day and they did not get the same coverage as formations fighting in Europe. However, today they are forgotten no more. For most of the Army's existence, sorry, for most of the 14th Army's existence, it was commanded by Lieutenant General William Slim. We are honoured today to be joined by his daughter, Mrs. Una Rokleth, a long-term Mid-Devon resident. After the war, the comradeship formed in Burma would continue with the formation of the Burma Star Association. The by then Lord Slim of Burma became his first president. The garden we stand in today is in their memory. The Burma Star Association, for the last 75 years, have supported those people who have fought in Burma. Today, in its last day in existence, it stands down today. However, there will be, it will continue with the Burma Star Foundation, which I've been briefed by Una, is a foundation to provide money to send gifted and talented children to further education and university. A worthwhile remembrance of those people who sacrificed their lives in Burma. So it's to all the servicemen and women of all the armed forces, Commonwealth forces, prisoners of war, both military and civilian, and the populations of Burma and the Far East who lost their lives or suffered long-term injury, both physical and mental, that we remember here 
today. If not for the sacrifices of the wartime generation, of all theatres of war and on the home front, we would not have the freedoms we take for granted today. Thank you.
their home, tell them about us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will, we will remember, remember them. them. <clears throat> Let us pray. Almighty Father, we remember before you those who sacrificed their lives in the struggle for freedom. And we pray that the justice and peace for which they fought may become established today among the families of the nations. We ask this in him who taught us to pray for the coming of his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord God our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all people in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your Spirit, give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. Amen. God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you and those whom you love and pray for, today and always. Amen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Deputy Chairman, Chief Executive, friends and colleagues from Tiverton and veterans, thank you for attending today. Rather unusual circumstances we find ourselves in and thank you all for observing the current guidelines. We're here today, of course, many of us with personal connections to this commemoration of 75 years ago, VJ Day. My own father and my wife's father both served in India and my uncle served in the 14th Army in Burma. But while we remember the 71,000 allied, allied casualties of the conflict, we should also remember more recently those who have fallen victim to COVID-19, the coronavirus pandemic, which still has its grip on us. And we should, as part of our thoughts today, Remember those who've fallen victim, those NHS frontline workers, key workers, emergency services, and anybody who has given their all in the fight against COVID-19. Thank you once again for attending, and please bear them in your thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Burmistore Association, today cease to exist, but continue on as part of the Burmistore Foundation, and the Royal British Legion, thank you for attending today. Thank you all. <laughs>